Alrighty guys, so welcome back to ARK. So I hope you guys had a good weekend, because I did. So, I did get a little progress done this weekend. By a little, I mean I was working on the wyverns for the genetic library. And do I say, I was getting some good results here. Alright, like I got some nice ones. Um, I set me up a generator with some uh, air conditioners. And I got me a fabricator and all that. So, as well, besides the wyverns, we'll get into the wyverns here in a minute. Um, I did start me up a farm, which is another main thing that we're going to be working on today is mostly to get the farm fully operational. I just kind of got it set up and running off of just poop. Poop I was c collecting from all my guys here, including the wyverns. So, yeah. But these wyverns, they should be for the genetic library, and they should be perfect. All right? So the way I was able to do this and get these 190s with the stats I want was that I was uh, just hanging out in the Wyvern Trench. That 185 that we got on Friday, yeah, he was a big help. Unfortunately, though, I did lose him. Um, I will get more into that here in a little, like, once we get further down the line of this story. But yeah, so I was basically using him to control the Wyvern Trench. I was selecting out the 190s and all the other ones that I, like, didn't want. And just left the 190s with the stats that were good. Like the ones that had the one, the 40 points in health and stamina and melee. So I just grabbed those ones. Now I did start on lightning. Which for some reason were the ones that seemed like they were spawning the most. Honestly it seemed like lightning was just everywhere. But yeah. I was able to get these guys. Now they are a bit. I would say they are the best out of all of them. I mean yeah. We did get one with event colors, and his health is the lowest. So then we do got a fire wyvern here. Now, the fire wyverns seem to be, like, all event colors, except one. I think this one is regular, but he does seem to have... I'm pretty sure he's just regular. But, yeah, he might have an event color. I'm not sure. This one is event colors. This one's not. This one is. And, yeah, as you can see there, that one got, like... Wait, what does this one have? This one's the melee... You are the stamina. The fire wyverns are going to have the best in terms of stamina. And then I just got all the po poison wyverns done here. And well, what happened was in the process of getting these guys and coming back home, I didn't notice the alpha wyvern chasing me. So once it attacked me, I had to turn around and kind of fight it. We killed it, but then uh, the other wyverns caught up to me and they killed my 185. Luckily, though, we were able to go out there on Skittles and just retrieve the bag. And we were even able to get all the the milk here and the trophy from the fire, or the Alpha Wyvern, yeah. We were able to get the milk and all that. So, at least we did get something out of it. We did lose our Wyvern, though, from last episode, but at least he did help me get all this. Alright? I didn't name him, though. I don't know if, should we make a grave for him? Because we never, we never named him. And honestly, I didn't really care that much about him. I was just kind of using him to help me get eggs. But anyways, let's get on to the main purpose of this video. So, what I need to do is I need to go get me... I might be heading back to the island. I'm going to flip a coin on that. But what I'm going to do is I got to get me uh, ants to automate this. So ants, uh, they'll come in, they'll collect this, and they'll bring it back to their ant hive. And then I also need to get dung beetles to automate me uh, the creation of my poop. Now, the thing is, if I go back to the island, I will have to clone my ant. In which, that's okay. That's kind of what that ant there is intended for, is to be cloned. Alright, it's supposed to be my good clonable ant. Um, so I might head back and do that. Um, I might also do that with the dung beetle, just because they're not breedable. I might just select a dung beetle to clone. Because I know I have a 150 dung beetle. I might do that. Um, it's just dependent on whether or not I go back. So what we're going to do here is because I am going to debate that on a coin. Uh, I can't talk. A coin flip. Um, we're going to do that right now. So heads, we stay. Tails, we go back. So if, we, if it's a stay, we have to go get all that stuff here on Scorched Earth. It's tails. Uh, we get the easy. No, I don't. I want to re-roll that because it kind of just fell. I'm sorry. I got to redo it. I'm, I'm redoing it. <clears throat> that one landed on the floor. It don't count. Fuck. I lost it. 
I lost my coin. Okay. Okay, I got me a second coin. This one should be better, though. That one fell immediately on the floor, and I... There it is. Okay, we're gonna drop this in a place where it won't fall. Um, instead of just directly on my... My, like, keyboard tray where it's falling off. Okay, we got... Tails again. We're heading back to the island. So, that's the goal for today. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go drop off all my stuff I don't need. And I'm gonna just take... Shit. Who do I want to take? Because then they got to come back with me. Hmm... I don't like leaving Skittles out there because of his health. And I don't want to take any of my wyverns. Last time I went over, I took my... I did take Skittles last time I went over. When I got my tech binoculars and Skittles and all them. What am I going to do here? I think I'm just going to... I'll ride Skittles over. That's what, that's what we did last time. So I'm going to just transfer this all like so. Boom. Also, if you guys are wondering, I do have more wyvern eggs. These are the ones that were kind of shy, but I'm pretty sure these ones are all linked up to the really cool, colorful wyverns. So we might start hatching them if we want to breed in some wyvern colors. But I'm pretty I'm absolutely sure all the eggs in there are from ones that have nice colors, like really awesome colors. Now, I'm thinking just the one not this one right here. This Poison Wyvern, this one, the red. That's what's got me going. That's the one I want to be all their base colors. And then, it's kind of hard to pick with the Fire Wyverns. The one in the middle looks awesome, but then you got this one over here. This one just looks Easter, <laughs> you know? And Easter was recently. Then you got this one here. This one looks pretty dope, but yeah. I think I want the one in the middle's colors for my... Uh, wyverns now in terms of the lightning wyverns i don't know because this green guy right here like he's just chilling and then the other two look like normal normal lightning wyverns but yeah all right i'm gonna go hop on the back of skittles i have stripped down i've left all my gear here the only thing going is skittles okay we're here at blue ob now what we're gonna do is land hopefully nothing attacks us off the bat oh there's crystal right here at blue ob i didn't even know that at least I know where there's crystal where I'm not going to get attacked immediately. So Skittles, I'm quite literally just going to leave you right there. And I'm just going to upload the survivor. And that is because I know for a fact I can run back to Blue Ob very easily. So I'm going to get quickly transferred over here to the island. Okay, guys. So we're back here on the island. I don't think I've showed you guys this place yet. This is my underwater tech base. It's also where I set up my cloning chamber. And I don't think I have the ceiling high enough. Uh, I don't think I ever fixed that, did I? No, I didn't. Um, also, this is where I've been storing my uh, Anomala Cares. They help me get around. But yeah, this is where the cloning chamber is. So, I did set up uh, last time I was on the island. I did all this before I transferred over. Uh, I think it was like that week before. I had all my videos pre-recorded. I was just messing around on the island. I went up and set up all these teleporters. So, boom. This here is the, the base, and it's good to be back. So, I need to go grab, uh, I need to go grab my turp, my blue, two cryopods, actually. I need to grab two cryopods, then I need to grab this gal. So, let's actually toggle anthill. You, I'll, I'll ride you around because you're quick. I need to clone you. I hate to say it, but, oh. Hold up, I need to get my uh, tech binoculars. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have tech binoculars on this map, do I? I don't, jeez. I'm pretty sure all my tech gear is up in the tower as well. But yeah, you see, this is what we want her for. She's picking up all those berries. So boom, I'm gonna grab two cryopods. She is the one we want to clone, 100%. Um, boom, and then cryo you up. Bang. So, and then we want one of my dung beetles here to do some cloning of. Are any of you... 
I feel like you were the one twenty-five. I feel like you were. I feel like you were the one fifty because then you got a perfect tame on you, so you should have become a two twenty-five. Yeah, no, it, it's absolutely that one there. So let's get back over here to the tech underwater tech base and see how much uh, element shards it costs. Because I'm doing pretty good on element. Definitely doing good on it. I'll actually take a stack with me. Because I'm... I'll take two. Because I'm pretty sure that... Where the hell is my tech gear? As well, so I can move. This is all my tech blueprints. Where's my gear? Did I leave it? What the hell? Where's my... There it is. I, I lost where the tech base was. Alright, so here we are. Is Did I throw that all in here? Yes, I did. So what I'll do is that, and then we're going to throw on our tech armor just so that way I feel safe. I got to remember to throw this all back in here before we go. So what we're going to start with is the queen ant. Please don't die immediately because you're underwater. No, you did not. Thank you. Okay. Boom, we'll drop you up here. Now... Um, clone. I can clone the Anomalot Kares? It's close enough, that's probably why. I need 20,000 shards. And I'm pretty sure I already got that many shards in here, don't I? Boom, boom. Yep. I've been using... Shards are what you use for the tech guns. Uh, so I've already been making shards. So, or the tech turrets. Cloning. Boom. How long is that going to take? say okay we got 10 minutes or 13 minutes on you so what that means is you can go back to the base so is it gonna clone its stats all right over or is it gonna come out I don't know I got I gotta wait and see okay so the clone came out as a uh, 225 question is can I clone a clone Yes, I can. So now what that means is I got to clone this one. Because this one's going to be for the genetic library. Alright, this one's going to go into the genetic library. So, let me grab some more shards here. Let's just transfer all the shards. Shard. Boom. Okay. I don't know why I had to be so dumb about that. Um, also, boom. We'll pop you out. We'll get you cloned up first. All right, I think that'd be the smart idea. So let's uh, let's move you out the way. Also, I love my underwater base. I know it's not much at all, but I did spend a lot of time on it, and it is mostly just for my Anomalacaras and Eurypticon and the cloning. That's really all this is. It's supposed to be my tech base, and uh, I, it's quite like my previous tech base. It's legit just set up for breeding. Okay, so I just got my dung beetle transported back over. And I just want to quickly talk to you guys about something here. So, if you noticed in the last uh, update here from Wildcard on Friday, uh, we got two months, two months before uh, the center comes out on June 3rd. Now, one thing that I caught was caught on surprise by is because I thought the Giga Raptor was supposed to be coming out with the center. And then they delayed the centered and then just gave us the Giga Raptor. Um, they specifically mentioned in the patch note, or like the update, not patch notes, the update about that, that the Shastrosaurus is coming with it. And if I'm correct, that's the that's the submarine whale. So yeah, I just I just had to point that out. Uh, I don't know if that was a mistake on Wildcard's part or uh, they actually have the thing ready. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. It's just, what's going to come out with Ragnarok now? Because I'm pretty sure that's what the Giga Raptor was for, was Ragnarok. And now, uh, it's been changed up. So, maybe maybe Ragnarok will get a new creature? Maybe, ooh, what, what was it called? Uh, that one that everyone was voting for. Or what everyone wanted, but it never actually got voted for. Uh, I'm, I can't remember its name. But it had been around forever. But yeah. I just wanted to point that out here real quick while we're waiting on this guy. Okay, so I got the clone going of the clone now. So this one can actually go cryo back up and I can go throw it in the 
in the cryo fridge or my genetic library. This one, I want to get at least two dung beetles before I go back over to Scorched Earth, so I'm a clone it twice. Do I have enough to do that? I might not. I might. I actually have to go break down more shards. So, shard. Oh, I have to turn it on, dummy. So, let's do this the smart way. Craft one hundo. That's the best way to do it. Okay, we're good. I got enough shards now. So, once we're ready for the dung beetle, we should be all ready to go. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna let these guys get all done. I'm gonna get my two dung beetles, and then we are gonna go pop back over to Scorched Earth and continue on there. Okay, guys, so we're back. Got all the cloned dinos done. I'm grabbing one last thing here from the island. Now, I know some of you might be against it. I am personally not, because I'm just gonna grab the ones I have pre-made, which is all this stuff here. I might have more. No, I don't. I seriously don't have any other kibbles. All right. I'm going to sit back and I'm going to make me 50 of each kibble. And uh, then I'm going to head back over to the island. Because I know I have all the stuff for kibble. Okay. So I got all my kibble. Um, unfortunately, I did not have as many Utah eggs as I thought. So I was only able to get 19 um, extraordinary. But hopefully, a lot of the creatures I need to tame over on Scorched Earth do not need extraordinary. Um... I know the Oasis Sword does not even take kibble. It takes souls, so we got to figure out how to get enough souls. Uh, I'm pretty sure we, we already got a way to do that. So, um, But yeah, we do got 50 of other all the other kibbles. So I'm going to quickly do, do, do. And then we're going to just teleport over here to Green Ob like so. Please don't crash game. Thank you. And then we're just going to go transfer everything over. So, items, boom, boom. Can I just do this? No, I can't, because then that puts that in the tribute. I have to manually go drag all this stuff over. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to upload, and we're going to go. I'll see you guys over on Scorched Earth. Okay, so we're back on Scorched. I've spawned as close to Blue Ob as I can. Please don't crash on me, game. The game is just it crashed 100%. It froze. Yep. Alrighty. I'm going back in. Round two. This time, don't crash on me, game. Alright, we're good. It's just something about the, always the first time you transfer back over to a map, especially on single player. The game really doesn't like it for me, so it crashes sometimes. But I've had times where it works completely fine. So... Like this one, though. This one's after a crash, and always after a crash it works. So it's it's something I think... I think it's... I gotta do something. I probably have a bug. Not bug. Uh, just have a, my settings in a way that they don't like it. We've made it. And I'm not even sure if I'm still on scorched earth. There's too many trees and grass. I think this is supposed to be like one of the oasises. That's why. And... I don't think this is where the Oasis Cave is. I'm pretty sure... Ooh, ooh go, 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 go. My stamina is really low right now. There's a terror bird chasing after me, and Skittles is right there. Please get caught on the rocks. Please get... Ooh, yeah! Thank you, Skittles. You are the man. So let's go in here and we'll transfer out all this stuff just so I can get it back to base. Now, the only reason I got the kibbles was just so that way... Did I lose? I lost a creature. No, like I swear, I just lost a creature. Because I had three dung beetles, I swear, in there. Or was I wrong? Yeah, I put three dung beetles in there. Where'd that last one go? Did Ark delete it? I might have to go look back at my footage. If there was one there, I will put a note right here, like, saying, yes, Ark stole it. If not, I'm just crazy. Okay, we're back at base. I'm gonna go grab my gear. 
And we're also gonna go put down a dung beetle. Not dung beetle, uh, we'll do those last. We're gonna go put down our uh, ant here so that way we can go and actually start automating the food production. Um, I don't have a fridge for the kibble. I can make one of those probably here. No, I don't, because I don't have electronics. That's what I was eating. But there you go. Also, I thought I... Protect from cryosickness. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get cryosickness there. God damn it, Epic. I can't even see my... Nope, nope, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I gotta get rid of the Epic overlay here. I'm not joking. For so That popped up right. I was just trying to look there. But yeah, no, I don't got any of that. I don't have that, uh... What is it? I have that protection on, so I don't have to worry about cryo sickness anymore. So, boom, toggle anthill. And there's the anthill. That's going to be our automation right there. So, if I go and manage colony, we're going to change direct... We're going to change the directive to harvest. So, what that means is that these guys are going to, as you can see there, we got a bunch of ants. They're going to be coming out of their uh, colony here. And... They're immediately going to run into a wall, but some of them are going to be able to collect. I think they all were able to collect. Jeez. Were they? Oh, yeah. Look at that. that That's all the berries. That's all four of the berry piles that were right here. Now, technically, there are two uh, plant. Or, yeah. Oh, jeez. They got all of them. They got all of it. Now, they're, they should be coming back and getting this stuff, too, at some point. Um, it seems like they're getting distracted by the bushes on the ground as well and collecting cactus I could yeah you can hear them collecting the cactus but yeah we got look at that at least we got the berries somewhat automated um, I don't know if this stuff is just too far away I'm pretty sure it's close enough but they might be they might be harvesting all that stuff first Oh, no, you did not. It just... Uh, this stuff just produced stuff, and they're grabbing it and bringing it back. They're not grabbing any of the other stuff. So, I think I gotta move the anthill. Let's do that. Let's move the anthill to... Be back here, you know? Let's put it right here. Right here seems good. It. Boom. So, and then... Directive. Harvest. Oh, they're just going to harvest all the bushes around. I mean, as long as they come and get some vegetables at some point, that'd be awesome. Okay, so after about 20 minutes of trying to figure this out, I found out the best way to probably do this. Damn it. I'm going to have to cryopod you to get you inside, aren't I? I'm going to have to put this thing inside. I mean it. Like, that's the only way I'm going to be able to automate my crops, like, completely. I thought I had my... Protect from cryosickness. Thank you. Okay, so let's get this center of the room right under the chandelier you're uh, about as center as you're gonna get there boom yep now harvest and make sure I disable enable harvesting wild crops that's one thing I'm pretty sure that was breaking it but I'm pretty sure that this building just now belongs to the ants like this is theirs this is where their colony lives also, I think I might be too close to the potatoes. No, because it's gathering potatoes. What about this stuff? Let me uh back you up here. Boom. And then... I'm going to quickly experiment with this for a little bit more before I go and work on the dung beetles. 
Okay, so I'm just moving my wyverns around right now because my poison wyverns are fully grown. Um, I do need to get a feeding trough set up so that way I can get these guys all fed as well because they're fully healed. It's just that they're now all really low on uh, food. So, but I think I got the ants working somewhat. Kinda. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure. They seem to be getting stuff. Um, it's just, yeah, not perfect. And I have also decided I'm probably going to enable this. Just so that way they can get cactus and stuff from around. They'll harvest the plants. Um, but at least with it up against this side here, it seems to be grabbing all of these resources. Which are the major ones. Honestly, I don't know why I bother making berry farms. I end up using creatures to harvest more berries. Because it's faster anyways. Just saying. It is. So I don't know why I do the berry part. Um, these though, on the other hand, my mushrooms and flowers. Uh, I need to think of something for them. But let's pop out the dung beetles here. I think I'm just going to... I need to pop them out somewhere safe because I do have a saber tooth problem. I will admit that. There is a bit of a saber tooth problem here. So. Eh. So let's, uh. Oh, you guys are already doing it. So as soon as someone poops up, oh, yep. As soon as someone poops, they'll pick it up and they'll convert it into fertilizer for me. So I don't really need to make a special place for them. Um. What I'll do, though, is I might at some point. But, so I'm just going to kind of uh, shove them back in here where they're kind of protected, hidden behind these buildings. Just, ooh, geez, don't have a, sh don't spa don't have a spasm. There we go. So we're just going to hide them back here. Um, so now what I need to work on is feeding trough, uh, fridge, so that way I can refrigerate all my... Uh, my good stuff. Ooh, including my wyvern milk. I completely forgot about that. How's that going? Alright, it's still good. I'll throw the kibble in here with all this stuff. Uh, you can have my sand and stone. Um, but yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to be calling it here. We did a lot this episode. And I was able to also show you guys what I did this weekend. Which, surprisingly, I didn't go completely overboard. My original plan was I'm just going to go and get me at least three of the wyverns for, like, say, the fire. And then I got that out of hand. I will, You know, I did let that go out of hand. I will say that. Uh, but at least when I, I did decide to do this, like, while I was raising these guys and, like, waiting for all those eggs to spawn. Um, while I was waiting for them to grow, I built the farm. So, I'm just glad it turned out so awesome. All right. Also, if you're wondering how I did the ceiling there, what it is is uh, right here in the middle, I placed down uh, a 4x... Well, not, it's the quarters in the 4x4, four four, so I placed it right there in the middle. So, yeah. So instead of it, like, it's a 3x3 three three roof, or it's a 4x4 four four room. So then I put that right in the middle, put some half walls right in the middle, as you can see there. And then I connected the ceiling so that way it sticks out by one. It, yeah. I went from four to a five. See, I just expanded it by one by putting a divide right in the middle. So there's a half ceiling there, a half ceiling, or a quarter ceiling, two quarter ceilings there, two quarter ceilings there, and then a half wall right down the middle. It, it's, yeah, that's how we did that. And it turned out awesome. And as well for this farm, um, this was my original farm design. And well, I know that if you only have one of these, you get exactly 120, but the more greenhouse stuff it seems that you have near, um, the more greenhouse effect it gets. So I had like a bunch of these around in like a circle. That actually probably would have worked better, honestly, with the anthill, now that I think about it. But for some reason I decided I wanted this nice looking greenhouse. And the ceilings as well. These are greenhouse ceilings. I just have the uh, frontier pack on them frontier wood skin but they are greenhouse roofs so that they are giving them a greenhouse effect it's not just the walls so awesome but if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode please do remember to leave a like and subscribe and as well 
remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. And one last thing, I am currently running a YouTube channel membership goal. We are currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99. And once we hit that goal, we will be opening up an ARC server. Um, but once we get closer to that goal, we'll discuss more about what the ARC server will be, what map. I'm pretty sure at this rate it's going to be the center. So yeah, anyways, it's been Gunshot Morai, signing off. See ya.